support. I hope you come out on uh, on January 3rd. But there's no reason to be despondent about how, how this country is going right now if we do the right thing. And I believe that most people in this country know what the right thing is to do. The country has to live within our means. And therefore, I propose in the first year to cut federal government spending by $1 trillion. Well, that was Ron Paul on the campaign trail in Iowa yesterday. Polls showing he's popular there. But the Texas congressman responding to harsh words from his rivals, Mitt Romney, Michelle Bachman, among others, saying Paul will not be the nominee. Newt Gingrich says he wouldn't even vote for him. Doug Weed is a senior advisor to Ron Paul. He's been with him in Iowa, but happens to be in D.C. today. Doug, thanks for being with us. Congressman hey, Paul um, is being criticized by his rivals and others for, among other things, claiming that America is to blame for 9-11, condemning the killings of bin Laden and Anwar Awlaki, and blaming the U.S. for provoking Iran's nuclear program. Aren't those foreign policy views of Mr. Paul contrary to what most Americans think? I think they would be if those were truly his sentiments, but a lot of what he says and believes is misrepresented. Uh, he believes strongly in the Constitution and that if we want to go to war, let's go to war. He voted in favor of going after Osama bin Laden, and uh, he supported Israel in 1981 almost alone. He opposed the assassination, alone. though. He opposed, he opposed the way the assassination was conducted. He felt right. it should have been done immediately when we went Didn't in. Didn't he say that America our should not blame be... for 9-11 because we had troops in Saudi Arabia? No, he hasn't said that. He said really? that that is the reason that that is, that is what uh, many uh, what Islamic fundamentalists uh, believe. Yes, right. he, he believes that they believe that. Right. Yes, that's true. And that many uh, <laughs> observers, including our well, own most Defense Americans Department, don't Wolfowitz buy that, though, and others, they, say Doug? that. They may not. Ron Paul is incorruptible. He's honest. He's a good example of our foreign policy right. now. Is just in the last few weeks, we have troops on the ground, boots on the ground in Australia for purposes of defending us against China. Sure. So we borrow money from China to have American troops in Australia to defend us against China. And, he and believes does, we need a little more sanity. That does to seem our to resonate policy. with a lot of folks, uh, just anecdotally, based on all the emails we get. Here's what Congressman Paul's rivals, though, are saying. I want to quote them. We'll put it up on the screen. Ron Paul's views are totally outside the mainstream of virtually every decent American. That's Newt Gingrich. Ron Paul is to the left of Barack Obama on national security. He's even to the left of Dennis Kucinich. Don't laugh. That was Rick Santorum. And this, Ron Paul would be dangerous as president. That's Michelle Bachman. Your response to that, Doug? There's nothing dangerous about the U.S. Constitution. If uh, blocking the Straits of Hormuz or some other action by Iran uh, was deemed as an act of war or w we decided we needed to react, as a president, he would take it to the U.S. Constitution, to the U.S. Congress. We would decide, yeah. declare war, we'd win it, and then we'd get out. That's what he believes. And Here, the U.S. Constitution is not dangerous. Right. It's dangerous to take these you. risks of, uh, of I'm, avoiding. I'm trying to run avoiding. through a bunch of subjects here. I want to put okay, his sorry, economic Greg. ideas up on the screen. We heard All one right. of them in the introduction, uh, cutting $1 trillion of spending in the first year alone, terminate five cabinet agencies, lower corporate tax rate uh, to 15%, eliminate capital gains taxes, narrow the new uh, health care law, repeal Sarbanes-Oxley, the corporate financial reporting. But look, Doug, uh, Rick Santorum took a look at that, and he said, you know what? Ron Paul couldn't get Congress to cut or eliminate anything since he's only passed one bill in 20 years in Congress. I double-checked that with the Library of Congress. Ron Paul sponsored 620 bills. He passed one, and it was fairly insignificant. Doesn't Congressman Paul have a history of failure when it comes to getting his proposals passed? You know, the, the greatest contribution he's made, he doesn't get a lot of credit for it because he doesn't put his name on everything, was pulling back the curtain on the Federal Reserve. Four years ago, Greg, 74% of this country didn't even know what the Federal Reserve is. Today, 78% of the nation wants it audited. Obama, Romney would audit 
a waitress to make sure she pays taxes on her tip money but won't audit the Federal Reserve. But thanks to Ron Paul, we got a partial audit. It showed in 2008 that $16 trillion, the national debt was $14 trillion, $16 trillion was loaned out in interest-free right. money to major banks in this country. The people, we've always had corruption in Washington, but people are really angry because the corruption has reached a level that they're losing the value of their homes, the value of their IRAs, Doug, and Ron Paul's the only person with the guts let, to take this on. Let me squeeze one more in about <laughs> Sorry, the polls. And, and we don't sneeze at the fact that he has a strong organization in Iowa. As we said in the introduction, he's very popular. The polls demonstrate that. He's at or near the top. But there's a different poll I want to ask you about. It's a recent yeah. Washington Post poll of the 25% of voters who view him favorably, nearly two-thirds do not identify themselves as Republicans. And among conservatives, only 8% view him favorably. Doug, how do you win the GOP nomination with numbers like that? Well, I'll give you some more numbers from that very same poll and from the recent poll last night that was released by NBC. They show the perception is that Ron Paul can't win a general election. They show in the NBC poll 8% of registered Republicans don't think he can win. The ABC poll, uh, which shows that 9% think he can't win. But the same poll asked them to choose between Barack Obama and Ron Paul. And Ron Paul did better than Newt Gingrich and was with a statistical tie of Mitt Romney. So we have a candidate who can win. And the best evidence of that, Greg, is you don't see any Democrat pundits on TV puffing Ron Paul yeah. because they know he can win. All right. And as we mentioned, you know, he can win in Iowa. It's very strong there. And he's pretty strong in some other states as well. You're a very eloquent spokesperson. So, uh, Doug Weed, Thank thanks you, for Greg. being with us. Appreciate it. Second in New Hampshire.